Hello everyone, welcome back to Judo Rose. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you some of the best designer fragrances to get right now. I feel like we'll turn this into a series because there's lots of great designer fragrances, especially new perfumes. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do this into a series. But anyways, today I will share with you some of my favorites and I will be pairing each perfume with some outfits. So mixing perfume and fashion so that you can have a better idea for the vibe of the fragrance. So let's get straight into it. First up, we have Parade by Celine. I would recommend this perfume if you're looking for a fresh and clean everyday scent that is especially great for the office. This perfume is a casual yet smart scent isn't too strong, isn't too in your face, but has a professional polished edge about it. It's a citrusy musky blend with some bergamot, some neroli, musks and woods. It opens quite peppery, almost Earl Grey tea like from the bergamot, which leads way to a luminous sun drenched neroli scent. So if you like fresh neroli perfumes, but you don't like the greenness or the harshness that sometimes they can bring about, I would recommend you try Pahad because it is the perfect balance of ingredients with that soft cocooning musk in the background. I would consider this perfume the crisp white shirt of fragrances. And in fact, I like to pair it with a crisp white shirt. This one is a little oversized. It's from Zara with a pair of blue jeans from Paige, little heels and a classic bag and understated jewelry. These diamond studs by Idol are my go-to earrings. I wear them almost every day. They're incredibly versatile, great quality. And depending on my mood and outfit, I can customize them with different add-ons. And I recently picked up these two necklaces this first one is a trail of diamonds and the second has my initial little diamond I'm obsessed with these two necklaces I've been wearing them every single day since I've received them and what's cool is that the diamonds are sustainable they're lab grown and really great quality and price for what you're getting. So I have teamed up with Idol once more, and this time around we're bringing a special discount code if you're interested in getting any of these pieces. You can use the code Jus de Rose 10 to get 10% off at checkout across the entire website. I'll make sure to pop the T's and C's, all the links to the perfumes, the jewelry, the outfits in the description box down below if you wanna pick anything up. Next up, we have Gucci Bloom Intense. This is the latest addition to the Gucci Bloom line and it's my favorite. It has the characteristic white floral DNA, the tube rose, the jasmine, but it's embellished with some fruits, with pear and coconut, as well as night blooming flower, which is a type of cactus flower. I've never smelled this flower, so I couldn't tell you exactly how it smells, but it does smell very different to the original Gucci Bloom. So the original Gucci Bloom is a beautiful white floral, more on the powdery, soapy side, whilst this one has this addictive fruity note that makes it a little bit more playful, maybe a bit more modernized, and I just love it. I like to wear this fragrance on an everyday basis, and the other day I went to brunch with my husband, and I wore this scent, and I paired it with this Zara dress, which is adorable. It reminds me of a Zimmerman number, which I'm all up for, minus the expensive price tag. Some nude heels, a classic black bag, and for my earrings, I went for the classic Diamond Studs by Idol, and matching diamond cuff just to add you know a little bit more edge and overall I feel like this outfit and fragrance goes very well together it's a perfume that is super floral super white floral I would say feminine but has a playful mischievous side about it which I really love so I would invite you to try this perfume if you love white florals with a hint of a fruity touch now if you're in your clean girl soft girl era you probably can tell that I've been spending way too much time on TikTok I would recommend J'adore Parfum Do by Dior this perfume came out was it this year earlier this year or maybe towards the end of last year it's still relatively new is what I'm trying to say and what's cool about it is that it's an alcohol 
alcohol-free based formula, so it's super gentle on the skin. And I have to say, I like to spray my perfumes a lot, and sometimes my the skin around my neck can be a little bit irritated from the alcohol in the fragrances, whereas I don't get it with um, this perfume. So it is a muskier, cleaner interpretation of the original J'adore. You will find the J'adore DNA in this, but as I said, it's cleaner, it's fresher. You can think of it as white florals floating on the surface of crystalline, fresh, clear water illuminated by the sun. So there's a transparency about it. It's clean, very pretty, and it's the kind of scent that either you can wear after taking a long, warm bath, which personally is what I like to do. Actually, I've used almost half of the bottle already, or you can wear it during the day on a more casual everyday basis for the daytime, I would say. So the other day I paired it with a pink shirt with some tailored white shorts, both from Zara with a pink Chanel bag, some flats. And then for the jewelry, I added the gold hoop add-ons, which I'm also wearing today because I thought that it was more of a chic feminine vibe that goes very well with the whole outfit and the little gold button detailings on the shorts and also the gold on the bottle because why not match everything? And yeah, this is my outfit with this perfume. It is soft, it's feminine, and if you want something that has the original J'adore DNA but with a bit of a twist, then I definitely recommend you check J'adore Parfum d'eau. Next, we have Good Girl Blush by Karina Herrera. This is the newest addition to the Good Girl line. It is so cute, this millennial pink. I cannot get over at how cute the packaging is. You like it or you hate it, I personally think it's adorable. And if there's one perfume that Barbie should have in her magnificent wardrobe, it would be this one. This perfume is everything Barbie. You have the pink stiletto, you have also this cute, girly, flirty juice that is perfect for Barbie. Now, it, this DNA is very different to the original Good Girl. Uh, and that's what I like about this scent. Unfortunately, it does not sit well on my skin. I like to spray it on my clothes so that the chemistry isn't altered, but on my skin, it just does not do it. So I would recommend trying this on your skin, just like all the other fragrances, but especially this one. I find that it does alter quite a lot depending on your skin chemistry. As for what it smells like, well, you have a heart of peony and ylang ylang. So you'll have a rosy note with this perfume, a sweet rosy note, but I get a lot of an exotic creaminess, which is why I love this scent so much. This exotic creaminess is enhanced with a yummy vanilla base. If you're fans of bubbly, tangy, jammy, rosy scents with a creamy base, like I'm thinking a Delina or a Delina Exclusif, I think this perfume is gonna be right up your alley. So in terms of how I'd like to wear this scent and what outfit to pair it with, I of course need to include some pink. Every time I wear this perfume, I need to put some form of pink garment on me. So for this look, I chose a pink blazer from Mango and then layered it with a white crochet dress from Zara, which is super old, but still very effective and I very much love it. And then found my favorite pink sparkly shoes from Aldo and matching pink Chanel bag. I think this is such a cute outfit. And for my jewelry, I paired it with the same uh, gold hoop add-on with the diamond studs. I find that it goes very well with the whole look. It's adorable. And yeah, what I don't know what else to say about this fragrance. Just go and check it out. Now, ladies, we know that there are a lot of sweet white floral perfumes on the market right now, especially a lot of the new releases are all about sweet white floral scents. They're super trendy at the moment. But the OG, the OG scent, in my opinion, is L'Interdit by Givenchy. This is the Eau de Parfum. I also have Burning Neroli, which I've recommended before. It's fantastic. But if you want a safe, sweet, tuberose scent that will get you compliments, that will be long lasting, that is fun and a modern tuberose, the Eau de Parfum is where it's at over any of the other ones from the range. It has that playful, fruity, juicy bubblegum type of DNA. So very likable, very fun, 
but at the same time out of the entire range it's the one that is the most elegant and formal you can wear it for every day but personally i would recommend dressing it up a little bit so the way that i wore this perfume in the past is with a more formal attire so i'm wearing this beautiful champagne dress from Sandro. this was actually my civil wedding dress I paired it with some sparkly peak toe heels from zara and for the earrings i added a dangling diamond add-on i always go for this add-on when i'm going for something that is dressier where I'm going out in the evenings. I just think it adds that extra elegance to an outfit that's really dainty and beautiful. So I thought I would go for this with the whole outfit. And I think it complements uh, the dress really well, the pearls and the sparkly shoes as well. So anyways, if you want a fantastic sweet tuberose perfumes, as far as designer fragrances go, if you want that juicy tuberose scent, I would recommend the original Givenchy Interdit Eau de Parfum. And finally, perhaps the best kept secret on this channel slash in the community is Capeline by Ysel. I have talked about this a little bit. I bought it a few years ago for my birthday. The only downside to this scent is it doesn't last as it should, which is a shame, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll get over it because there isn't another perfume like this on the market. Why is this perfume so special? It is a dream. It is Lily ylang ylang, some salty notes, some creaminess. It's a very enigmatic scent, incredibly difficult to describe. I cannot tell you there's a note that comes out more than the other. For me, this is about the ylang ylang and the lily, essentially. So if you like white florals, you're gonna like this. I feel like there's a trend here in the videos. There's a lot of white florals, but if you want something that is unique with a salty sea breeze edge, then definitely try out Capeline. To me, this smells like you're applying a luxurious sunscreen milk. It's not a lotion, it's a milk because there's a creaminess about it. And then you're on this incredible yacht somewhere in the south of France, in Spain or Italy. You're applying this luxurious suntan lotion milk and you have a light sea breeze that just caresses your cheek. That is what this perfume is about. So it definitely is giving me resort vibes. And so if I was invited for a fancy dinner on a yacht, I would wear this perfume and I would pair it with a pair of silk-like pants with some Positano style patterns. This, by the way, is from Zara, if you haven't guessed already. And then a crochet crop top with the sparkly bedangly earrings as well from Idol and the two necklaces layered together. Out of the YSL Privé line, Capeline and Baby Cat are my favorite. So if you have similar tastes as I do, I highly recommend you check it out. But just bear in mind that it doesn't last for a super long time, but you are getting a unique scent. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what is your absolute favorite designer scent and if you'd like me to do a part two so more of a reoccurring series where I cherry pick some designer scents that I think are absolutely fantastic I would love to know your thoughts thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye